Seven of 13 defendants involved in the storming of Hong Kong's Lejko building in 2019 pleaded guilty to rioting charges on Monday, the first day of the long-awaited trial. The incident was among a string of protests that swarmed the city against Hong Kong's extradition bill. CNA's Deborah Wong reports. Months of social unrest over an unpopular extradition bill came to a violent hit on July 1st, 2019, the anniversary of Hong Kong's handover from Britain to China. Scores of radical protesters stormed the city's legislative headquarters and vandalized its facilities. Seven or 13 defendants charged pleaded guilty to rioting on the first day of the 44-day trial. They include former politician Ventus Lau and student leader El Te Shun. The offence is punishable by up to 10 years of jail time. Those who did not plead guilty face additional charges for unlawful entry to the legislature and criminal damage. Separately, in another prominent case on Monday, a panel of three judges unanimously vetoed Apple Daily founder Jimmy Lai's application to terminate his trial, saying that there was no apparent bias contrary to Lai's claims. The media mogul faces collusion charges under the national security law. He had applied to halt proceedings last year on grounds that his case would be heard by three appointed judges instead of a jury. Lai's trial will proceed as scheduled in September. Since the Beijing-imposed national security law came into effect in 2020, about 250 people have been arrested for related offences. Though the move has drawn heavy criticism from the West, as well as prompted sanctions on Hong Kong leaders, authorities argue that the law has restored order to the city, as well as allowed it to move forward. Deborah Wong, CNA, Hong Kong.